Let's look at this uh, sketch planes and push pull tool. So let's start by creating a primitive. Notice how we've got our three planes. Um, so it's very important that you understand that um, we actually draw on any particular plane that you choose. So I'll draw on my bottom plane like so. I'll extrude it. So say I wanted to um, cut a hole from this face or add a window. I could go and go to sketch, go to rectangle and I could draw my rectangle. I could then go to um, my push pull tool or press pull click on it and then I can just drag it all the way out press enter and I there you have it you've created a <coughs> hole through your object and I can do that again on the other face <coughs> I can do it this time with the circle and I can go press pull all the way through, press enter and then you've got circles going on each side and then square on the other side. So there's no problem when you're doing when you've got flat faces to work with. But what about if we had a cylinder? So I'll create a cylinder. Let's say we wanted to cut out a square window from the side of the cylinder. <clears throat> Get my rectangle tool. It's not letting me because there isn't a straight surface to work with. So this is where it starts to get a bit more complicated and we have to start considering about sketch planes. So if we select the cylinder till it goes blue, Notice how I get a pill that appears here. Now you want to select the right hand side little icon and scroll down to plane. If you click on that, notice how if I change my view cube, how there's a, there's a sketch plane that's been created and I can click enter. Now if I go to sketch, new sketch and I select the plane that I've just created and then I make a rectangle I'll use my view cube to just rotate a bit. There you see I've created a rectangle almost it looks like in midair but because I had a sketch plane there it allowed me to do so without the sketch plane there's no way you will be able to actually draw or cut into this so now if I select my rectangle I then go to press pull and then go all the way up Notice how I've added a rectangle that's going through my cylinder. If I wanted to cut a window from that, then I would need to go to extrude, select your square, go all the way through. Notice how now the pill has a lot more features. So you can actually choose to join this rectangle to the cylinder or you can choose to cut or you can choose to intersect. intersect. So in this case we want to go to cut and see how it, it goes transparent and if you click enter now we've got a hole going through our cylinder. So that's really important that you create um, sketch planes. The only negative is that for a sphere <coughs> it 
if you try to do the same thing, create a plane, the sphere is the only object that it won't allow you to create a, a plane on the sphere, uh, unfortunately. So a way to get around that is if we use our 3D rectangle and what we want to do now is if we click on this surface and then now we uh, go to the peel appears and then we can go to plane and let's create some planes that are offsetting from the cube so we'll click on now the side the peel appears go to plane again let's move the plane out away from the cube I'm going to delete this for the sake of the exercise no it doesn't want to delete right no worries we'll just use the other side of this so we'll go on here Peel appears. So select the face, select plane. Let's move the plane away from that. So now that what we've got there is 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 we've got three planes that we've created. Now if we go to our browser, notice how we've got three components. So if I turn that one off, we've got the cube got the cylinder and our sphere that we had created so if we want to delete something we can you can either turn it off or you can right click on it and completely delete it like so let's delete this cube as well because actually let's just turn it off for now now what we can do is is we can place a sphere within these planes that we've got so if we get a sphere right smack bang in the middle of this like so let's say now we want to um, get a circle to cut straight through the sphere because we've got our planes there as you can see this is work plane 2 so now I can actually go sketch new sketch I select work plane 2. I can now draw myself a circle. I'll use my view cube. Notice how now my circle's in midair. Um, I can now select my circle, select extrude, and what I'll do is I'll make it go all the way through. You notice how it's going all the way through. Uh, now I've got my peel option that appears. Again, here you can. It's asking us: Do you want to join? Do you want to cut? Do you want to intersect? So in this case, we want to cut. So now you'll see that we've got a nice hole going straight through it. Now let's create another sketch, just for fun. Let's pick one of the other ones we've selected. Let's draw more of an interesting shape, like so. Now let's uh, select this, let's extrude it, and let's make it go all the way through. Again, the pill appears, we can go to cut enter and then now notice how we've managed to cut straight through this sphere so the key is, is if you've got something that's really uh, spherical very organic um, no straight faces whatsoever um, it's important that you preempt that and create yourself um, create yourself a cube
and then select on all the faces that you think you'll need so in this case we'll select on this face go to the peel go to plane and just make sure you just push the uh, plane away from your cube go to your top view and then push it away and then what you can do because we no longer need that cube we only used it to create our planes you can either choose to turn it off or right click on the component and click delete and there you have it you've got your planes ready to go in case you do need them hopefully you can start to have a play with that see how you go and keep practicing